Right, this is going to be a quick demonstration on how to forward um, streams, um, authenticated streams. Uh, if you want to restream them to another platform or uh, to ingest them in some sort of uh, production software, um, there's a lot of use cases. Uh, there's also a lot of different ways that providers um, structure their streams. So there's a lot of different configurations, but I'm just going to show you one here for a uh, live fish video plan right now. Um, what we're going to do is set up a proxy. Uh, and then essentially just use that M3U8 forwarded uh, um, playlist, and then we're going to ingest it into any other kind of program. So um, we'll get started. Um, the uh, programs I'm using, uh, or the um, repositories I'm using for this are uh, uh, HLS Proxy um, by Warren Bank, and um, HLS.js as a way to uh, view the stream. We also have OBS and VLC player to uh, ingest the stream as well. Um, so the first step is installing uh, HLS proxy. Um, and then uh, installing any of the software you want to uh, play it. So I've already done so. Um, uh, so I'll just go ahead and start the stream or start the, um, the process here. Uh, one of the important things to note is a lot of these um, authenticated streams uh, require uh, either a refer or origin um, header. Uh, this one in particular uh, does um, two, I believe, two different um, computers can play it at the same time. Uh, and I believe this is done through this header. And I'll show you that here in a second, but we'll need to grab that first. Um, and what we'll do here is go here to network. Um, well, actually, first I'll demonstrate, you know, what we can't do. Um, so here, I'll just go here to uh, an extension here for grabbing the M3U8. And as you can see, um, Playlist 2 is the one that's playing right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to play it uh, in VLC Player. So we're going to go to Open Network, and we're going to try to play that. Input cannot be opened. All right, so back to the extension. Uh, we'll go and see if we can open it in the browser. Maybe it's, uh, so we'll copy that. We'll close this. Um, oops, do I have? So I am able to download the M3U8, but I can't use it. Uh, interesting. Um, so the first URL is essentially blocked here. So let's try this one. Okay. So we can download the M3UA from the browser, but it's not, um, we can't use it, right? So um, I've seen uh, times in the past where this uh, playlist will also be blocked from download. Um, but uh, so what we'll do here is grab um, this playlist here. And we already see it can't be used here. Um, we can try to use it in something like OBS. And um, just to show you this does, uh, it will, will not work here. But then I will show you. Yeah, you can't see it because there's nothing there. So we're going to delete that. Um, but we can play other stuff. So if you see here in you know, Google uh, or YouTube, we can just take any kind of YouTube live video. And I'm just going to grab the M3U8 file by using a application called YouTube uh, DLP. Um, so we're going to grab the M3U8. Oops, that's not the one I want to this one. And then we're going to try to play it in VLC and show you that uh, there's no kind of uh, protection measures on this. Um, it should just let us play it. Yep, see, it just lets us play it. We're going to close that out. shows you that works. What we're trying to do is what we just did with this jellyfish cam. So I'm going to close out of there. I've proven it doesn't. Uh, cannot get to it. Uh, so now um, what we'll do is copy this uh, user agent and we're going to um, use this as a flag inside of HLS proxy um, which we've installed remember 
um, from Warren Bank. Uh, here we go. And then um, I've already done this a couple times, so I'll just use a command I already did. You know, we're going to uh, set the user agent flag to what we we grabbed from the uh, response header in the browser. Um, and then there was also an origin and a refer, so we'll just want to put that in too. Um, there could be any number of um, items here that we could uh, might necessarily need to put in. Um, in this case, it should work with just these. So I'm going to go ahead and start it. You can see we're on our local local host um, for 8080. So now we, what we need to do is get this. I'm proxied uh, m3 u8 url uh, and i have a handy cheat sheet right here uh, with that information the ability to pull that um, so this is part of uh, we can use um, developer console here uh, this is the javascript method there's a way to do it in bash and um, you know um, like a shell script but i'm just going to do this for simplicity uh, here's the uh, video url that we're going to put in um, so playlist number two, uh, let's grab that from back from here. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it. It uh, might have been the same one. Now we're just going to hit enter. Okay, this is our uh, new proxy URL um, for this HLS stream, M3U8. Uh, so I'm going to copy here, show you that it does open. And this is the, the URL we're going to use um, for any of our ingestion, any of our uh, applications. So I'm going to show you here in VLC, we can do open network um, and open. Sure enough, here we go. So we're going to leave this playing. Uh, and then I can do the exact same thing in OBS. And just do a VLC source here. Basically doing the same exact thing. Um, this is a, an application people would use it for. If it's a it has copyrighted material, um, you try to restream it to Twitch or, or YouTube, you will uh, likely um, get taken on quite quickly. So here we have it in OBS, and we can restream it, or uh, if you want to push it to, to WebRTC or some lightning fast protocol um, or something like that, um, you can do so. Uh, or if you want to mix it in with other sh whatever you want to do. Uh, so, and then here's another application. We can use something called HL, uh, HLS.js. Uh, if you wanted to, say, host this video somewhere, um, so you could essentially put HLSJS on a web server and uh, play uh, the video that you are now putting out. Uh, so you would have to serve it out and then ingest it. So we're on the localhost here, so we can kind of just do a demonstration here. Uh, I already have uh, HLSJS uh, package installed and um, up and running. So this is just the demo page. And you know, it has a default, you know, Floby Bunny, whatever. And we're going to add the M3U8 proxy URL. We're going to hit apply here. And there we go. You know, now it's uh, across the board. And um, we can essentially ingest or uh, um, produce or intermix with the stream any, any way we like. And um, yeah, I uh, hope this helps. And uh, there's a lot of different applications and configurations. I kind of believe that this is similar to what a lot of the kind of illegal streamers are doing. Um, but uh, don't be one of those guys. Love and light. Peace.